Why did I use curves on that one puffy jacket art piece? Is modeling easier or not? That's a great question. Well, I do believe that modeling will always be easier, but in this case, the challenge was to make the entire thing with geometry nodes, right? So I already had a sketch of the character that I wanted to do, and I knew that I needed four layers of these uh, puffy circles, if you will. I decided to use curves because they're pretty versatile when it comes to like the taper and the shape of them. And let me let me quickly walk you through the basic setup for how I do stuff with curves. So you get a curve line, then you resample that curve and you connect it to a curve to mesh. Then you need a curved circle for the profile curve and now it's just gonna look like a weird tube. To control the shape, what you need is a spline parameter node. You connect the factor into a float curve and then the float curve into the scale on the curve to mesh node. Then you can mess around with the float curve and get all kinds of weird shapes with it. For this piece in particular, instead of a curved line, I was using another curved circle so that I would get those rings around, but everything else is pretty much the same. Then all I needed to do was stack four of those on top of each other and scale them differently and uh, you, you get yourself a jacket. Is this easier than modeling? Maybe for some people, maybe in some cases, but the, I, I would say that generally it is easier to control the topology when you're modeling by hand. In this case, it's literally four separate objects stacked on top of each other which might not be the optimal way if you're trying to rig this character later on if you'd like an even closer look all of the project files are on my gumroad and that way you can you know dissect and explore bye